Good afternoon, I'm Jack Kane. Merrily is off today. We begin 13 News at noon with breaking news. Almost four decades after being found, DNA evidence has now identified the woman known as the Bell in the Well as Louise Virginia Peterson Flesher. 13 News reporter Shannon Litton is live at Ohio University Southern, where a press conference wrapped up just moments ago. Shannon, good afternoon. Jack, good afternoon. Louise Virginia Peterson Flesher's body was found in a cistern back in April of 1981. However, investigators believe her body may have been in that cistern for over a year before her body was discovered. We now know that Peterson Flesher was born in West Virginia and attended high school in Wyoming. Officials say she was murdered by manual strangulation. Today, investigators confirmed rumors that Peterson Flesher was found with the ligature around her neck, which was tied to a concrete block used to hold her down. Rumors that dated back to when her body was first discovered. Peterson Flesher was positively identified through familial DNA on February 2nd by the DNA Doe Project. Dr. Colleen Fitzpatrick of the DNA Doe Project says they have dedicated over 10,000 hours to this case and that it's the fifth case this organization has solved in the state of Ohio. This case was amazing. It was very important to us because it was so challenging. This stresses the limits of what we can do. You're not going to get away with injustice here in Lawrence County. We're going to be able to use that same DNA technology to track uh, felons down and people that commit these heinous crimes. Now, what you're looking at now is footage of Bill Nenny, the case investigator, officially closing the case with members from the DNA Doe Project. Since 2017, the DNA Doe Project has solved 12 cases. Now, Dr. Fitzpatrick says if you do take one of those genealogy tests like on Ancestry.com or on 23andMe, to please download your data and then upload it to GenMatch.com uh, so they are able to use it. You have to upload it and confirm that they're allowed to use this data so they can solve other cases. For now, they're reporting live in Ironton. I'm Shannon Litton, 13 News, working for you.